This video is about transistors that have failed. I did a lot of experiments the days ago. You can see all these experiments. A little bit messy. And uh, I was a little bit frustrated by the fact that a lot of transistors that I used failed when I uh, connected them into a circuit. And it's always very difficult to find out why a transistor breaks down, uh, doesn't act properly, etc. etc. And uh, there is another video on my channel called Where is the transistor made? And um, I want to advise strongly to use transistors from a good brand like Philips or Motorola. All these transistors here you that you see here that I've bought in a shop in the Netherlands and I asked in this shop where are these transistors made and they couldn't give me an answer. Uh, they laughed a little bit, laughed a little bit, etc. etc. But um, in fact, they sell transistors um, that don't meet the real specifications from the datasheet. So, for instance, this transistor, a BD139, um, is able to handle on its base uh, a voltage from eight, 80 volts. So that's a lot. And I assume, I don't know this for sure, that other manufacturers like Philips or Motorola don't produce transistors that meet this specification. So uh, when this transistor on its base, that's here, gets a too high voltage, it breaks down and it's completely gone. So it's a little bit disappointing that I have to buy components and don't know the properties from these components. And also don't know how they will act in a stress test. Ok, that was that. Uh, now we go going to look at the normal behavior from a medium power transistor, the BD139. Of course this refers to all the earlier things that I've mentioned in this video. This is the BD139. This is also a BD139, but it broke down. I don't know for what reason it broke down. So I throw it away. And uh, this is the BD139. This is a healthy one, by the way, from the same manufacturer as this one. And I don't know where it comes from, but this is the current amplification that it gives here. Approximately 120. Quite good. Though I'm sure a Philips or Motorola uh, transistor uh, performs better. It will uh, amplify 150 or 170 or so. So is this a bad transistor? I don't know. I can use it and when it breaks down I'll throw it away. But uh, it shows um, that you have to use transistors from uh, well-known sources, good brands.